Hello everyone and a massive welcome to Fallout Play Build Collect. Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing and having a quick look at the Fallout Please Stand By game map for Fallout the Ball Game. If you're not familiar with Fallout the Ball Game, it's produced by Fantasy Flight Games, a top company who produce very high quality ball games and it features many components that we're all familiar with from the Fallout universe. Okay, so first up we've just propped the box up against a, a cupboard here. We can see the, the top of the box and the details on the side here. You can see the Fancy Flight Games details. You can see it's an official accessory licensed by Bethesda. Have this cog detailing on the side. It's actually a very nice box. It's very sturdy and it's the sort of thing you can continue to store the mat in. As we move down to the tabletop, we'll take a look at the mat spread out. And the first thing to notice is this actually hangs over the edge of my tabletop. This is three foot by three foot square, so it will hang across a standard tabletop. So make sure you have enough room to put it out if you want to use the whole size. And you can see at the top here, this is the top left corner, we have the details for putting in the cards. And as we move down, you can see there's a faded pattern into the graphics. The graphics are nice, they're quite clear. As we move across here, you see it's more faded in the centre than it is on the edges. Nice Fallout logo, uh, a nice little picture of Vault Boy there. And as we move to the right hand side, you see another area where you'd place your cards, including the special cards. Graphics here are very crisp and clear. And again as we move down, you can see the graphics are quite bold on the outsides and quite faded on the inside. Now the Bethesda logo down in the bottom right corner there. Now let's have a look at the, the thickness of the mat. You can see it's actually quite thin. And it's well textured. It's not going to move around on your tabletop. The texture on the back is, uh, is quite abrasive. But it's a nice smooth texture on the front. So your clouds actually slide quite nicely over it. You can see it falls flat very nicely, there's no wrinkling there. And now we're going to do a little bit of a, a wrinkle test. Just scrunching it up and letting it go. And again you can see it, it folds flat very very easily. Returns easily to a nice flat surface. And it's a nice smooth texture to place your cards. Now, as you can see here, it's a nicely laid out map. The graphics are very nice, they're very crisp and they're very clear. So to sum up, overall I'm quite impressed with this map. As you'd expect from Fantasy Flight Games, it's a very good quality product. It's nicely textured. It's easy to move pieces and cards across the surface. The only slight downside I'd say is there's a slight rubbery smell in the room whenever it's down, but I think that's something to be expected. Overall, I have to say I'd recommend this map. If you'd like to see more reviews of other tabletop products, let me know in the comments below what your favourites are and what you'd like me to review. Would you like me to do more on Fallout the Ball Game, Fallout Shelter the Ball Game, or Fallout Wasteland Warfare? Make sure you let me know in the comments below so I know what it is you want to see coming up on the channel in the future. Till then, thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, enjoy your gaming. Till next time, goodbye. If you've enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more content, please consider hitting the like button, it helps us out enormously. And also consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell. That way we can inform you when all the new videos go live.